Hi, this is Lisa with Coping with Yarn, and today we, me, and some of my family members will be participating in the hashtag, what do you call it? Um, so this was started by a girl and her phone, and so, um, so yeah, I was tagged by Neva at Manic Mama Musings. And she heard from this from Ladybird Loves, and that's where Ladybird Loves heard it is from a girl and her phone. That's the one who started it. Okay, so um, apparently the questions got bigger. We're at 20 questions right now. Um, I just wanted to be outside. I'm under a porch, but and so I know I shouldn't be out here when there's a thunderstorm. But I love the smell of the rain. It, ooh, that was... So if you see some flashings... So if I die... Just kidding. <laughs> Knock on wood. Okay. So. Are you ready? Here we go. Here are the questions. What do you call? Okay, number one. What do you call cooking food on an outside grill? So... As for me in this household, we call it barbecuing. Um, number two, what do you call a carbonated beverage? Um, so growing up, I always called it pop. Um, that's what my mom calls it. And then when I got married, my husband calls it soda. So now I inner exchange pop or soda whatever the mood I'm in. I usually say soda. Would you like some soda? But if I'm pissed, I'll probably say, give me that pop. Just kidding. All right. All right. Um, number three, the thing you push your groceries around. We just call it a shopping cart or a cart. Um, that's, that was the unanimous decision on that one. <laughs> number four, bugs that light up at night. So, I live in Oregon. Here in Oregon, we don't have fireflies. I call them fireflies, and I know people call them lightning bugs. My husband called it a glow bug. <laughs> but we don't have them here. And we've, we both have lived here all of our lives. Well, most of my life. Um, yeah. So, fireflies. I probably got it from a movie or a show. I don't know. I'm just looking at my hair. It's really fuzzy. <laughs> fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Okay. Um, what do you call P-E-C-A-N? <laughs> so I do both. I don't know why I exchange it but I either call it a pecan pie or a pecan. So pecan or pecan. I say both. I guess it depends on my mood. Some of these I had a hard time of like, what do I say? I don't remember what I say. It's pecan. No, I don't say pecan. I say pecan. Make it fancy. Um... Number six, last piece of bread in a loaf. We call it a heel. That's what we've always called a heel. Um, all right, number seven, C-A-R-A-M-E-L. What do you call that? I say caramel. I'm not, this is where I don't do the fancy thing. I don't say caramel. It's caramel. <laughs> okay, number eight. Athletic footwear. So Ben's my husband, and he calls it he calls them sneakers um, or running shoes. Me and my kids, we call it tinny shoes, tinny shoes. Um, maybe that's short for tennis shoes. And we just say tinny. I know I got that for my mom. I know that. Uh, number nine, the little lobster-looking creatures in fresh water. A crawdad. We call it a crawdad. 
number. And I don't, I've never been pinched by one. I don't, I've probably seen one a long time ago. I probably have seen one. But I'm not too familiar with them. Um, I usually go to lakes. I mean, we do go to rivers sometimes. Number 10. Water tap inside and or outside. Um, I call it a faucet for me. The in or out, I use it. I just say a faucet. Um, ben calls the inside a faucet, but the outside he calls it a hose bib. Huh? Maybe it's a landscaper type thing. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Number 11. Because I had never heard of that before. I was like, hmm? Um. And we both grew up here. <laughs> don't know. Liquid that makes your cast go. I call it, I mean, liquid that makes your car go. I call it gas. Give us some gas. Uh, I mean, do people call it the go-go juice? Or, I don't know. I'm just making that part up. I just made it up. I don't know. Number 12. The space at the back of your car. I call it a trunk. Um... Number 13, the lights that regulate traffic. I call it a stoplight, even though there's a go and a be cautious light. I call it a stoplight. Uh, or a traffic light. Usually it's a stoplight. Um, yeah. Number 14, the place you buy alcohol from. The liquor store. Hannah called it the whiskey store. I don't even know if she knew that what, what whiskey was, but there you go. Probably too many Simpsons shows. I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh. Fifteen. The thing you use to switch the TV off and on, or the the thing you use to switch your TV on. Okay. We call it the remote. Hand me the remote. Or I call it my kids. Either one. 16. The place where you get medicine. Hannah says it's Walmart. <laughs> Maybe that's because our pharmacy is at the Walmart. Or she doesn't even get medications except for, you know, over the counter stuff, I guess. Like children's Tylenol and stuff like that. Um, yeah. 17. Breakfast that you eat with syrup. Well, there's pancakes and French toast and waffles. That's what I eat syrup with. I I usually don't eat pancakes and French toast and waffles. Especially not waffles. I mean, I have a waffle maker. I mean, I used to make them all the time for my kids. I think they're kind of grown out of it. They're kind of growing out of pancakes in general, it seems like. But they do like to go over to grandma's and grandpa's because grandma makes them nice blueberry pancakes. They do like that every once in a while. Mm. On Christmas, I used to make, um, but now, okay, on Christmas morning, I used to make the little, uh, and on their birthdays, um, kisses. Yeah, I used to put kisses in their pancakes. Um... And that's when we're, they're real little. But now we all like Eggs Benedict. And my husband makes the best Eggs Benedict. He makes the best hollandaise sauce. Yeah. Um, and he makes the best bis biscuits and gravy. Because he uses both uh, turkey and bacon. Um, he makes his own. He makes it from scratch. So it's real yum, yum, yum. And so that's what you we usually do like. Once a week or once every two weeks, we'll have biscuits and gravy that Daddy makes. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, 18. That thing that gives you information about the streets and roads. We just call it the GPS. Uh, turn on your GPS. That's what we call it. Um, 
19. The machine you get from... Oh, the sheet... <laughs> I forgot to put cash from. I'm like, that doesn't make sense because I didn't write it down right. The machine you get money from. Oh, maybe I did say it right. Just kidding. I'm confusing myself. So, we call it the ATM. That's what we call it. The ATM. Rockin' that cash box. Rockin' that cash box. Uh, 20. A sweet on a sit on a stick. The first thing that popped in my husband's mind was a corn dog, and I'm like, I guess the cornmeal around the wiener is kind of sweet, I guess. Maybe he likes honey corn dogs, I don't know. But we all usually say lollipop. Um, here's a little story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when we would, um, or when my husband would cash in checks, uh, to get cash out or whatever, we would, we used to tell the kids we're going to the lollipop store, because through the drive through on the outside, they always gave out little suckers or little lollipops, and so that was a way of them getting to go with the, let's go to the lollipop store, yay! just a drive-through eight drive through the bank type of thing like <laughs> but they don't do that anymore what's happened I don't know but that was really cool okay you know what that's it that's all you're gonna get from me today actually no because I'm probably gonna read ET out here ah, I just love the smell of rain on dirt it just smells so good I just wanted to be out here so, I'll be right back. I'm back! Okay, so this is who I'm tagging. Um, Crystal, the yarny chicken and crazy cat lady. Um, she is awesome. She does her own patterns, y'all. You need to look her up. She is the greatest. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll put all of the people that I tag, I'll put them down below so you can check them out. Um, I'm also tagging Kay's Crochet Haven. Aren't you proud of me, Kaylin, that I did not say Kay's Crochet Corner? <laughs> I think the first time I ever shouted you out, I said Kay's Crochet Corner. I, I used the wrong name. I'm so sorry for about, about that. But it's in the past, right? So, you're it! Um, she's an awesome, also an aw uh, <laughs> she's also an awesome gal to watch. Um, her and her son are so cute. Um, you don't see him in the picture, but their banter back and forth on, on Kaylin's live lives are really cute. And Lady Bird Loves is also a little, comes in and talks to them a lot. Um, okay. Uh, I'm also tagging Cynthia's Crochet and More May. She is so cute! She is adorable. Um, she makes the prettiest stuff. You guys come and check her out. And Gina from The Knitting Turnpike. Now, this lady can knit. Oh, can she knit the most beautiful, um, why do I forget my words? You know those things that you wrap around yourself? <laughs> not a wrap. It's not a wrap. It's a... It's a something. You know what I'm talking about. You just... It's pretty. And you put it on. A shawl. It's a shawl. It's a shawl. So look her up. She makes... She knits the most beautiful stuff. Alright. That's all I am tagging. I would have tagged... Um... Connie, but she's already tagged, and Cindy, but she's already tagged, so, so there you go. Okay, enjoy, guys. See you later.